Hey, it's Jessica with Flow Bikes, and we are here right outside of Chicago at Wheaton, Illinois, for the Cyclocross National Championships. We just got a little preview of the course, and it's actually a little bit uh, icy on the ground, so let's just jump right into that course preview. All right, so let's talk about the features of the course. Of course, of course, as I've already alluded to, there is a little bit of ice on the ground. So that's because we've been at below freezing a couple of the nights here, and we're expecting a below freezing for the upcoming nights. So keep that in mind when you think of your tire selection, your tire pressure. Also, the course has got a little bit of ruddiness to it, so it's a little bit of a rough ride. Of course, we are expecting some rain a little bit later in this week, I believe on Friday. So that is gonna probably help smooth the course out as it turns more into a mud or maybe even a slush if it does get into that uh, ice layer. Just keep that in mind as well though, you are gonna feel that, so think about that when you dial your tire pressure in. Now, in terms of the course features, four things that are gonna hold you up this year. Of course, you've gotta have your sand, one of my favorite features. Um, this one comes into a slight downhill. I believe it's about 100 meters of sand. Really, really fun, pretty fast. They're doing a good job of keeping it covered, and so it's actually pretty rideable. Not too thick, very fine sand, very good, very fun, very fast. Secondly, we get into everybody's favorite if you're not on a single speed, and that is the dreaded climb in the hill. So the hill is actually, I believe, if you have gears, probably quite rideable. However, a single speeders, I opted to get off my bike and run it. So that's an option too, especially if the ground does turn a little slushy or muddy. And then, thirdly, probably everybody's, I wouldn't say their favorite, but something that if you want an advantage on the course, jump in those barriers. There's only one set this year. There's two of them. I saw a couple riders jumping them. It's possible if that's not in your wheelhouse, re, uh, dismount and remount in the traditional way. Go on your way and then move into the last feature, which is going to be our Belgian stairs. The Belgian stairs come from a uh, off camber sweeping left turn, so make sure that you're controlling your speed going into that left turn. Um, they're not extremely tall, so I think if you get enough of a wide turn into there, you could probably get a little bit of momentum and hop up those, but keep in mind when you get to the top of the stairs, then you're forced into a sweeping right before you begin another off-camber section. I know I had a lot of fun. We'll see you out there.